dream come true. I, I never really expected that I would be a Bond girl. It would be nice to be seen as very elegant and and um, confident and yeah, uh, a woman. Kind of like you know, exciting. <laughs> My first ever experiences with makeup was Avon. My mother sold Avon when I was a little girl. Um, it's really brilliant to be involved with it as I've grown older. Never thought I would, you know. It's funny how things turn out. It's really earthy, but it's also very sort of feminine. Everybody that smelt it that I know, like, wow, oh, it's really, really nice, and it's easy to wear. It's not too strong, and anybody can wear it. For me, the fragrance had to be incredibly sexy, very glamorous, attractive, fascinating, able to capture the more daring side of the Bond girl. And uh, I really enjoyed this uh, duality of being on one side attractive and uh, on the other side very dangerous. So that's why in my perfume, and this is very important, uh, you have also that duality. Uh, you have the dry down of the perfume, which is very sexy, very addictive, and as well on the other side, the top of the perfume, which is uh, very sparkling, very fresh. It's just very feminine and, and um, sexy and um, it should make you feel confident and empowered. Avon represents strong, confident women. It's something I've grown up with as well as Bond and they're both really kind of strong, iconic. They stand on their own, both brands. So, yeah, I think it's a brilliant thing. I can't believe it hasn't happened before now.